Hey, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches, and holy cow, I don't even know what to say. Tonight, I had a phone call from, um, from Archie Luxury, AC3, <laughs> called me, and um, oh, we had a lovely chat. What, what, a, what a nice guy. You know, I, I've owed you guys the video. Oh, look, is this crooked? Hang on, let me, let me, yeah, it was crooked. If you've been tilting your head, sorry. Is that better? Shit, now it looks crooked to me, but the little bubble, I got a little bubble. Yeah. Why can't I find my finger? <laughs> Fuck! Cut! Hey, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches, and this is take two. Um, so, listen, I owe you guys a video called The Ugly, part three of why I unsubscribed Archie Luxury. And I've been delaying putting up the video. Now, legitimately, I had a trip to Mexico, which kind of took me out of my element. Um, and so I posted up a couple of filler videos, which you might want to review. Um, but I really had a lot of trouble in editing and posting up that third video, The Ugly, for a couple reasons. One, what was the reason behind the ugly? What were, I gave you the good, watch part one. I gave you the bad, watch part two. What was to be mentioned in the ugly? Well, you know, Archie was starting to come across to me in multitude of his videos as kind of hateful towards gay people. He, call, he used the faggot word over and over and over again, which by the way is a pretty funny word. I'm a faggot. I think that's a funny word. I, I probably have the best faggot jokes that you'd ever want to hear. But when we use uh, homophobic or when we use racial uh, or when we use religious humor, um, there should be a sense of irony in there, okay? Now, I don't think I'm personally qualified to use the N-word uh, uh, in any aspect, in any way, shape, or form in my life, right? Ironic or otherwise, because it's just a hateful word. So I don't use it. But Archie has not been shy in his last you know, month or so about using that faggot word over and over and over again, but in, in, to my eye, in a serious fashion. And I just, eventually, it, I, 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 listen, I have a very robust sense of humor. Um, I, I encourage you to put your best faggot jokes in the comments, and I'll put mine. I don't want to put them on, on the video because they're really foul and disgusting, and I, you know, let's just keep this confined to the comments. So, guys, give me your best gay jokes in the comments, uh, and I'll give you some of mine. But um, there's a difference between humor, even if it's foul and disgusting, and irony, uh, which is sarcasm and, and, and is sort of like the, uh, the, the, the clash of two things. Um, that, that's all in good fun, that's fine. But I, I, Archie was just, I did a slow burn on Archie because I just couldn't handle him anymore. He sounded serious to me. And I don't mind humor, even if it's vicious humor, which I'm pretty sure we're going to see in my comments, you know, at this point. I don't mind humor, even vicious humor. Um, but why does Nick Kennerly, God rest his soul, you know, Nick Kennerly comes to mind when we talk about vicious humor. You know, uh, we're, I'm going to miss his vicious sense of humor. But there's a difference between humor, even when it's vicious, and hate. Um, and I'm okay with humor, even when it's vicious and vinyl, uh, from you hunters, punters, whatever it is that Archie calls us. I'm just not that okay with legitimate, outright, actual hate, you know, which is how Archie was starting to strike me. Um, and, and the funny thing about him calling me was I had intended to write him a letter. I'm going to stick a chunk of one of his very recent videos in right here, where he sort of talks about the gays and um, I think clarifies a little bit about his thinking. GMT. <laughs> and that's what shits me off with Omega. They become a faggot's watch because they go into fashion. So, Dr. Thomas, I agree. The Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon is super cool. And the Speedmaster... Speedmaster Mark II are super cool. I own both of those myself personally. However, when I say it's a faggot's watch, I mean, a faggot is, is, you know, that's the highest compliment you can give to a fashion item. If gay men like the product, it's got to be good. It's got to be cool. It's got to be, you know, different. Gay men have much better taste 
than straight heterosexual men. So uh, when I say something's a faggot's watch, don't just take it as a, as a homophobic comment. I'm actually saying it's a very cool designed icon. But Amiga does piss me off. They piss me off no end because they fucking, they fucking keep bringing out new versions and models. And I got to be honest with you, it really shits me off. So now that you have had a look at that chunk of Archie, um, you, you can understand why I might have had second thoughts in the first place about even posting up this video. But then before I got a chance to, to even sort out what I want to do, I got a phone call and uh, he didn't, Archie Paul, he did not know what it was about. In other words, he, he really didn't know what I had done to offend him. But I loved the phone call because, you know, um, he, he called me up and, and, and the first thing he said was, Marky, Marky, I love you. What have I done? And he wasn't, I don't think he was taping it. <laughs> maybe, maybe he taped it and I'll be surprised um, and mildly horrified, you know, if he does a video on that phone call. But, um, but honestly, he sounded really legitimately concerned that he might have wounded my feelings, which I thought was really a super nice thing. So I explained to him what was on my mind. He told me what he thought about that. He was very supportive and kind. The conversation was private. I'm going to keep it private. There was no tremendous, you know, revelation. Uh, there, there's nothing shocking to the conversation, but it was just a nice phone call that he did. And he also loved, <laughs> he loved my videos, which by the way, Andy Hunter, I, I had had a discussion with Andy Hunter uh, earlier um, before posting those because I was a little worried about should I do, do it? I, I, you know, I did want to, I did want to post those videos and unsubscribe from Archie, but at the same time, you know, I didn't want to kick him while he was down. Um, and, uh, Andy said, don't worry, he's going to fucking love those videos because you're talking about him. And actually that's exactly what Paul, uh, Archie told me. He goes, I, I love the fact that you're thinking about me. Um, so he's going to post that video or, you know, maybe all of them, maybe he'll do this one. I don't mind. Um, all I want to say is, uh, before I even came back from my recent trip to Mexico, when I saw that video that I just played a chunk of, um, I had already decided that I needed to resub to, to Archie, um, and not so much apologize, but at least uh, welcome, my, my, welcome him back to the fold of civilized human beings and welcome myself back to being one of the, the punters, one of the vicious vinyl fuckers. A fuckaroonie. I'm a fuckaroonie, okay? I'm a fagaroonie and I'm a fuckaroonie and that's all there is to it. And I feel loved by Archie now and appreciated by Paul. So, um, Archie, if you're listening, and you probably are, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. I misjudged you. Um, but, you know, sometimes you get a little cranky on these videos and it's hard to read you. Um, we talked a little bit about Mimi. Mimi is gone. And uh, Archie did right by Mimi. I mean, he, she didn't work for free. He paid her something. And, uh, but it didn't work out. So um, I liked Mimi, but I didn't like him for his channel. Paul, Paul Pluta, Archie, Archie Luxury, AC3, if you're listening, and you probably are, you're really good at what you do. So why don't you focus on doing what it is that you do, which is serious discussions about what you think about watches. Because when you do that, you're very good at it. And, um, and of course you're very good at humor too. Do your thing, but it's not for me to tell you what to do. I have, you, you know, a very new channel and you have a much more mature one and I'm doing this for, you know, just for shits and giggles and you're doing this so that you don't have to get a job. <laughs> but, um, look, uh, all I can say is, um, Archie, I think I misjudged you. I, I really appreciated the phone call. I'm very touched by that. And um, hey, I'm going to wrap up on one final note. Here's, here's, here's one of my favorite gay jokes. How can you tell if your roommate's gay? If his dick tastes like... This is Mark Goldberg. Please like and subscribe to this video. Tell me your best jokes. Don't be too nasty. I I'm a sensitive kind of a guy. Eh, fuck it. Say whatever you want. Let's have, a, let's have a fisting orgy together, okay, guys? All right. This is Mark out. Oh, quick! Wristwatch check! And this is a fucking good one. I can't believe I didn't do this earlier. This is a Jega La Coltra master diving compressor gmt can you get a good look at i'm gonna take this off hang on this is worth me shoving right up to the camera and giving you a proper look at this thing look at this watch is that not a beauty is that not a beauty you can see that blue and white bar 
on the bottom here. That is the seconds indicator. It's not really counting down the seconds, but it's moving, which you'll notice. And the point there is, is that you can tell that, uh, you know, for ISO certification, you need to be able to tell that the watch is actually working. That's why uh, you'd have a loomed second hand on a dive watch. And this uses that indicator instead. Jega La Coultre is just a thing of beauty. And uh, hey, I'll do a review on it pretty soon. Mark Goldberg, out.